Hi, this is Savannah again from Chicken Soup for the Truth or Soul 2, the backup channel for Chicken Soup for the Truth or Soul. And today I'm going to be talking about lyrics that are very either a cry for help or referring to selling your soul. Today we're going to start off with Tears for Fears song Shout. These lyrics I've listened to time and time again, like many people, a lot of people have heard these lyrics um, many times since the song came out. This isn't even the original. Um, someone else made the song before them, another British artist, I believe. And people say that version. Oh, wait, no. Thinking about Mad World. Sorry, no. This song is... <laughs> it's very, very... Confusing because they keep on saying that you should let it all out, but then rather, rather these are the things that they can do without sort of mind games, ping ponging. Hate to say ping pong due to the pedophilia reference, reference, but you know that is what they're doing here. The indecision, the the gaslighting, the fibbing tactics. You know who wrote the song. And it wasn't who they said it was. Same person, you could say. Not person. Every single time. Which is Satan. So, the lyric says, In violent times, you shouldn't have to sell your soul. That just came out of nowhere, to be honest, because the whole entire song is literally repeating the same thing. They gave you life, and in return, you gave them hell. As cold as ice, I hope we live to tell the tale. I mean, like... There's just no way that he wrote this, and also, I have no clue what he's saying. <laughs> I'm just going to stick to what I know up here, referring to the black and white duality, and then selling your soul. Talking about hell and ice, when hell freezes over, type of thing. Yeah, well. And on the album cover, they have like two different album covers. The main record and the single. This is the single cover. Up here on the top left. And yeah, you see both their one eyes. Same kind of motif they did for the Macintosh that came out around that time. The one eye with the one eye. One eye ellipsing the other eye. <laughs> yes, the moon reference. Yes, the song reached number one. Yes, they did the deed. Next song is uh, really, 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 really different. Sign Your Name by Terrence Trent Darby. Yeah, he's out of my he's out of my era of music, but this song always sticks in my head for some reason. It's, it's from the first time I heard it. When I was like 11, and I'm like 24 now, so it's been a long time. But listen to what he says here. Disappointments in so many things. It seems to be the way. Your gambling cards on love you play. I'd rather be in hell with you, baby. Disgusting. Than in cool heaven. I mean, like, what? Hey, I, I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless. How and why? Now, I'll answer that later, because he needs prayer and he's going to beg for it in this one of his songs. Back to Tears for Fears. They have a song called Famous Last Words, which I used to be obsessed with. Lyrics that stood out to me the most. When the light, yes, there goes that light again, from above, 
burns a hole straight through our love. And uh, nothing about Satan is love. So we will laugh. We will sing. When the saints go marching in. So he's literally like, he's ready to go to hell. Like he's like, ah, we'll just sit back and watch the saints. And uh, yeah, he'd rather be in uh, hell than ice cold heaven or cool heaven. You see this similarity between the overlapping these people's songs came out around the same time. I don't need to look it up. Uh, Tears for Fears, Shout came out in 1985, in and around about. This song came out in and around 1985, 90, 1986, 87, or 88. This song came out in 1988. So you see, within a three-year span, there are all, all, these, all these songs. And the last song... If you all get to heaven, again by Terrence Trent Darby. Also, yeah, I was, I was on kind of on the money. Eighty-seven, I said eighty-five to eighty-eight. All, all, all four of these songs came out. <sighs> Forget the in between because I hope it doesn't mean what I think it means, and that he um, sacrifices mother, father, and brother. But you never know. If you all get to heaven, and then skip to the last line of the verse. But most of all, please say a prayer for me. I'm sure now he's squeezing in some stuff throughout the song that makes no sense. But also some things that make a lot of sense if you've read the Bible. This uh, Latin here that he's got after he says say a prayer, I have no clue what it means and I do not want to know because it sounds like some kind of curse. Um... Then he says, if you all get to heaven, say a prayer for my camel as I ride through the desert. It's harder for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to get to heaven. He knows. He knows. Now here's the overlapping of the songs. Helpless people shout until their blood starts to boil. Yeah, well, he knows about what awaits him in hell. And we got the shout reference referring to the um, Tears for Fears song, Shout. Then he's saying some weird, weird names I don't really care to look into. And uh, I don't know what saint religion means, but he's being all... He's trying to be all creative, but again, this comes off as mockery. Blood baptism, well, see a lot of people like Eminem, maybe Tupac, maybe you've seen the pictures. You got, I've seen even photos from back in the 60s. Some um, boy bands up in a bathtub. Blood baptism. I mean, wow, this guy right here gave it all away. Yeah, talking about blood sacrifice, young men must die to keep the old ones alive and to prove their studs once again. Just this part right here, though. Young men must die to keep the old ones alive. That's kind of what they believe in. Like, you know, they think it's like some cycle. You have to keep on sacrificing. One goes up, one goes down. See, that's why, like, somebody dies, like Otis Redding. Then James Brown pops up and gets more successful than he ever had around, around about 1970, 71. Uh, Selena dies. And Jennifer Lopez pops up really high. Aaliyah dies, Beyonce comes up really high. And that's not really the old young thing going on, but that's the whole that's the whole thing they believe in. Somebody must die so that somebody else can stay alive. So Yeah, again, if y'all get to heaven, then all his uh family he prays he's saying say prayer for. Her. I hope he didn't get rid of them like Jennifer Hudson, like she did. Like, literally, actually, her mother fought. Wait, no. Her mother, brother, and someone else. 
But then it says, but most of all, you gotta say a prayer for me. Yeah, well, I will. He's still alive. I have to get better at praying for these people, because sometimes you get into the mindset where you think they can't be saved, because they've been out of God's, like, no, you're never out of God's good graces or sight, but they've been out of, they've been not paying attention to him, excuse me, for way too long, and if they wait much longer, the window of opportunity will close. So we have to remember to pray for these people. Roland Orzabal is the guy in this photo here in the top left in the front of the picture. And the guy back in back of him is Kurt Smith. In 2013 or 14, they went on tour after like a 20, 25 year hiatus in America. Like they were going a worldwide tour for a long, like for the first time in a long time. During the tour, before me and my dad were going to go see him, his wife died. His wife sang, um, Roland Orzabal's wife died. She sang backing vocals on their debut album. So, So in a way, she was a sort of extended member of the group. These people have to have their sacrifices, so... Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed, and thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a blessed day.